Good evening everyone and welcome to Dangerous Mondays and for the first time in about three months I actually got the intro right first time. Oh my god, I've been calling this thing Monday Night Stream when it's been dang Dangerous Mondays for weeks. So at least the brain seems to be working at least half well tonight. <sighs> All wifely care issues should be sorted out this week so unlike the last two weeks I should not have to drop off and do some other stuff. I should be here for the full two hours. Thank you to DJ Truthsayer on his stream for crashing his stream so that I could take over. Very, very kind of him. He's a lovely guy and I won't hear anything bad said against him unless it's me that's saying it. Oh, dearie me. Well, yes, um, I've just had to stop giggling because just as I was leaving DJ's stream, he actually said... Um, not he said, but uh, Dan actually said that he's been, f he's been my friend now for about five years and has yet to follow my stream which I actually find quite funny. Because um, I thought he had actually followed my stream. I, have, um, I thought he followed it as Fantastic Books Publisher. I don't know if he's followed it under his own name. So I'm not entirely sure where he stands on that one. But I'm sure he'll pop in and tell us at some point if he's in chat. Talking about chat, look at that. Seamless seamless thing. Oh no! It's it's DJ's stream. I think they've, they're going to come in and tell me now who's, who's going to hide who's been watching now. Never mind. Oh, it's Dan the Publisher Bloke. That's who it is. No worries, Dan. No worries. I still love you, even though you apparently don't love me anymore. That's fine. You've made the migration to the EDRPG. That's fine, you know. Jump ship. I don't care. I still love my game, even if no one else does. No. <laughs> Welcome, everyone from DJ Truce's stream. Welcome, everyone who likes my stream and is joining me because they like me independently of DJ Truce's here. <laughs> oh, God. So, yes, anyway, Jerry1956, thank you for the follow. Megalo Dangerous, thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome to the stream, guys. I hope you enjoy yourselves tonight. Anyway, what we're going to be doing? We're going to be looking at this stupid blank screen for the entire time. Is it a Malik raid, not a DJ raid? Wow, that's even more impressive. He risks the wrath of DJ by saying something like that. 111! That might be a new maximum, a new record. Oh yeah, we ain't found shit. It is um, Malik's thing, isn't it? I Extreme Commander Ectropian. Thank you for the follow. Right, let's actually get this show on the road. There's me, down the bottom there. I would point at myself, but there's not a lot of point in doing that, because you can see me. Um, Yeah, wow. Tato shit. I Extreme V1, Scotland. Nice, very good. I like it. Can't have enough Scottish people on this stream. Let's make it blue and white. But it's red. It's, I don't know. Yeah. Zoom in. Zoom into what? What are you complaining about now, Beth? For crying out loud. I think finding tits on stream. Okay. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know if he's calling me a tit or, or what. I have no idea. Just for that, I'll do that to everybody. Right, I am still on a really attractive bit of land. You gotta look at my tracts of land, innit? Let me have a uh, let me let me have a shuffle round. Was I was quite lucky to find this rather nice bit of land to land on last week if you remember rightly. Yaris thirty three, thank you for the follow. Look at that. On the precipice of doom with rings in the background, I mean. How lovely is that? Ecute or Ecute? Thank you for the follow. Look at that. How, how nice is that? Isn't that just gorgeous? Oberian Prime, thank you for the follow. I mean, that that's some scenery. I mean, who wouldn't want that as a game that you want to play? Want a close-up of... Why would anybody want a close-up of my face? Oh, Dan's going to abuse me again. I've want to just finish the therapy as well. Oh. Alright, so, there. This is my ship. The million to one chance, or Millie as I call her. No references to anybody's daughters that I may know. Which is a, which is a funny thing. I, I did a video based on this ship um, some time ago. Uh, to time with Drew Cycling next thing. target. Shut up, Shatner. Um, and... Um, didn't even realise at the time that the abbreviation of million to one chance that I used was Millie. And my friend John Hoggard, who will be at Fantastic on hopefully this year, 
Um, his daughter's called Millie, and I met her last year, and she's a lovely lass. A little bit more mature than John himself, actually, so, yeah. Oberian Prime, thank you for the follow. I think I've said you already. Chompa Chompa, thank you for the follow. Impassive Killjoy, thank you for the follow. Daywalker underscore. Isn't it usually supposed to be something after the underscore? Oh, thank you for the follow, anyway. Um, yeah, so, I'm just going to spend this entire stream saying hello to people and not actually take off and do anything. Open Galaxy Map. Stellar cartography. That's indeed correct, Bifford. The winner of last year's Fantastic on Costume Kari, um, or cosplay competition, whatever it was called. Dan, that's probably the most accurate thing I've seen somebody say on these chats. Bifford, I've mentioned your name twice already, so why, why, do, I want to, why do I want to say hello? Follow the channel! Then I'll... F oh, Kate Click! Thank you for the post! I need I said follow, because that's what I've been used to saying for the past 20 minutes. No, at least it feels like 20 minutes. It's only been about five. Because, as usual... Late. Anyway, what are we doing? So, hello, Bifford. Hello, Samuel Johnson Tarquin Byford. Thank you for your continued apprenticeship on this stream. Always welcome. My favourite proofreader and nitpicker, who, without whom the Elite Encounters, or note the Elite Encounters RPG, would be a lot less clever. Um, yeah. Point one. When you're writing, if you're writing at two o'clock in the morning, try and make sure that you proofread at some point in the future uh, before you try and submit it. Yeah. No, pain in the arse a good way. Okay, click. Hello! Hello! Um, yeah. Must be turbulence ahead. Yeah. Mm, too much coffee for me today. Eyes house. Thank you for the host. I'm really enjoying diving back into this lovely... Look, this, this community never changes. Aside from a few little people who decide they're going to go off and wander away and do their own damn thing. Um, and be nasty about it. Um, this community is as awesome as it ever was. And it always will be. That will never change. Elite's fandom has endured for 30 years now. Or is it 35? 35 years now. And it's still going strong. NR3 Razor. Jambo8145. Thank you for the follow. I will stop doing a stupid voice now. Yeah. Having a coffee at 3 o'clock is never a great idea. Coffee and me in the afternoon kind of, um... Yeah. Do strange things. Yeah, so what we're going to do tonight, apart from saying hello to people who keep following the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you, keep doing it. Uh, well, we're doing the Road to Riches. Um, some people say it's a little boring, some people say it's um, a bit tedious. But you're not here for the for the exploration and jump honk, or junk, or hunk, or hump. I don't know where it is. Is it hump or honk? I have no idea. I like both. Um, yeah. Oh, that was the thing. I need to... St oh, bugger. I haven't done that, have I? Uh, right, I'm going to have to bugger up the screen now. So, I'll go down to there. <coughs> and launch that window. Bring the chat window back up. Bring the ED tracker UI back up. Damn it. Meow! Thank you for the follow. Yes, believe it or not, that was a name. That wasn't just me going spats. Humping and honking. Why not do both? It's that kind of stream. Uh, right, where was I? Where's the where's the window just opened? There it is. Right, so we need to go into there. And into... There. Then there. And there's a file that starts with T. That one. Scroll it down. Oh no, my scrolly thing doesn't want to work. That's where I am. Right, so, copy paste. Copy paste into the galaxy map, the best thing since sliced cheese. Because sliced bread is really overrated, you know what I think? Right, so where are we going next? The Road to Riches, if you don't already know where it is, is a way to make some money. Um, by not exploring far too far out in the space so you can't see nothing. Uh, you can't have a 10 hours of back-to-back -back Elite Encounters RPG GMing. You know what? With the book and the status in now, it'd be a pleasure. I'll do a 12 hour straight. I'll do a 24 hour RPG GMing thing if people will sponsor me to do it. 
Just don't tell the wife I said that or she'll kill me. Um, but no, that's that's a joke at this point in time. I would. The thing is, right, I had so many things planned for this con. I had so many charity things planned to do because reasons I'm not going to go into at the minute. But because of a shitload of stuff that's been kicking off over the last few weeks, I haven't had time to plan any of it. Um, we had loads and loads of stuff. Loads and loads of stuff in my head, or in our heads. My mum, my auntie, um, my wife, me. We all had these things we were going to do on the lead up to Fantasticon to do with some of the charity stuff that I've done before. Like the, if you remember the Great Dave, the Great Dave shave last uh, two years ago, uh, there was stuff along those lines. Um, but just none of it's come together, um, and it's my fault. So. Um, I need to speak to Dan about that kind of stuff at some point in the near future. Um, so, what I'm thinking about doing, if I have a chat with Dan about it, if you guys are on board, I know there's quite a few people actually online at the minute who will be at Fantasticon, but one thing I'm actually quite tempted to try and do is, if there's anything that people want to sponsor me to do while I'm at Fantasticon, then within reason and not putting my own health at risk, I will probably do it um, for sponsors. I will pimp myself out. River in Norway, thank you for the follow. E. Which river, by the way? Um, so yeah. Where we go? Where we go? How much actually whole R2R plan gives money? ER is 33. Um, I've been told it can give you up of about 2 billion if you do it right. Close Galaxy Map. Leaving Map. Oka9488, thank you. Um, welcome, hello. I was going to say thank you, Phil, but you haven't followed. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get this crate into the air. Why doesn't that thing look circular? Raise landing gear. Landing gear ring. So bye bye, nicest bit of scenery I've ever landed on. Look at that. Look at that shizzle. That's just beautiful. Why do I play this game? No one has asked. Um despite all the things that go on, all the things that Frontier have said they're going to do but haven't quite done yet and all the things that are supposed to be in this game that aren't yet and all the things that people keep saying about it like it's boring, there's nothing to do blah de blah de blah as far as I'm concerned, you know, blaze your own trail it says it in the title, That's the game's subtitle is blaze your own trail, that's pretty much what it's about, do what you want to do, do what you like to do and it will be fun you make up what you do yourself me, I'll play this game for the fucking gorgeous scenery landing on a fucking chasm that chasm with rings in the background. Rings like that. I'm on a ringed planet. Yeah. Definitely too much fucking coffee. Um, yeah, the road to riches is you can raise some money. Uh, you can get about two billion if you do it right, apparently. Engage super cruise. Engaging super cruise. Um, and you can make a shed load. Uh, I'm not trying for that amount of money. I just want to really try and get onto the. Oh, you know, we need to go up. Up, 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 uh, yeah. Right, line up, line up, line up, there we go. Once you've um, got all your uh, exploration data that you want, somebody asked me if I'm using a custom route. Um, I'm using the Road to Riches modified route that was posted on Reddit. It was uh, Road to Riches Improved, I think was the title of the Reddit post for it. Uh, it's not the one on Pathfinder, because uh, that looks different. Although I was quite annoyed to find that right after I started, because it had been a lot easier bloody track. But that's fine, that's fine, I'm doing it. Uh, so bye bye lovely planet, bye bye lovely rings, bye bye lovely scenery. Jump. Jumping to light speed. Uh, and here's the bell from stream. Hello, is someone there? What's my door? Get us out to the front. <laughs> oh, Playpy got abandoned. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> what's it? No. I must have discovered what's it. Some pat lunches at work now. It's not what's it. It's um the new blue, the, the new Stilton flavored mini cheddars. They should be called Mini Stilton's really, shouldn't they? Rykod07, thank you for the follow. 
welcome to the channel. Everyone who's joined, everyone who's followed, everyone, welcome to the channel by the way, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I've got a bit of a sweat on, it's really warm here today. Um, I hope you enjoy what you watch, I hope you uh, come back and watch again. Oh Dan, as if I would slag you off, you disloyal bandwagon jumping two faced backstabbing poo face. Love you <laughs> I'm only kidding, every single one of them apart from the backstabbing two faced. No, everything, everything. It's a joke. Dan is the loveliest man you'll ever meet. Dan is amazing. Dan has been very, very helpful and supportive to everything that I've tried to do in my life for the last five years. Not since birth, because that'd just be weird, because he's younger than I am. Somehow I managed to scrape through the first four years of my existence without him being around. That doesn't sound right at all. Um, but no, Fantasticon. Um, that was one of the things I was going to talk about, was Fantasticon tonight. Um, yeah, I'll be at Fantasticon. Jump. Jump. Pimping me book. Sadly, this is one of the things I was going to talk about as far as Elite Encounters is concerned as well. One of my main goals for Fantastical was to try and get the RPG out by that point. Sadly, I've been informed by Frontier um, on Friday that it's unlikely it's going to be ready uh, for Fantastical. Um, the reason being is I'm a procrastinating faffer at the end of the day. And what I've managed to do is make a few edits to the book whilst it's in for its final draft. So Mr. Braben has the book to read before he can pass it as, as, as approved. Um, this is apparently the final read through. Um, I'm not entirely sure how far he's got through it, but when he came to his desk this morning, he found another draft ready for his approval. Uh, uh, where are we? Planet 10. Open system map. System map. Uh, so, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bugger me, that's miles away. Boop. Close system map. Leaving map. Yeah, so um, what I managed to do, right, you're going to love this. This is the start of the unofficial kind of Elite Encounters update, if you like. Um, what I managed to do when I submitted the book for approval is... Um, okay, there's about 30 ships in this in this game, in this computer game, right? Oh, UTPC, I will pause my, my self-aggrandization and address a question. UTPC, do you recommend this game? I'm thinking about some space adventure game. Um, space adventure game, um, if that's the kind of thing you play, like you want hot and fast action, uh, this may not uh, be kind of the thing that you're looking for. What It can be. Um, I recommend this game if you like an open world sandbox game where you can kind of make up what you want to do yourself. If you want hot and fast action combat non-stop um, being shot at by everybody who waters near you, you can play it that way. Just go to the combat zones or go play CQC or have a piracy life or that kind of thing. You can choose to be a pirate or you can choose to be a, a headhunter, you can choose to do all the missions for combat and you can have an action-packed game if you want. If you want a bit of a night off and you want to just go and look at some scenery and look at some stuff or explore and make some money or trade and make some money there as well, then you can do that. So. I would recommend it to anyone who likes um, freedom in what they do as far as gameplay is concerned. If you like lovely scenery, just keep watching the stream. You'll see that you'll see the scenery. Um, whoops! You're in a cockpit of a ship. It's fully rendered. It's fully there. You can walk. You can go outside it and have a look, as you can see now. Where's the button? There it is. There's your ship there. You can float around it and have a look at it. Um, you can own little fighter ships if you get a big enough uh, mother ship to fly. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much make what you want of this game. So, if you like space games, you like space combat, you like trading, um, diametric opposite things to think about, I know. 
then I think you'd enjoy it. It's, it's certainly worth a punt. Punt before anybody takes that thingy. Sadly, I've just learned that Dan has to go. Mm. I was hoping to have a good talk to him as well, never mind. I was going to jump onto something like TeamSpeak or Skype or something and have a chat with him, but never mind. I was hoping he'd pimp his, pimp his Fantasticon, but no, oh well. Never mind, never mind. I was going to pimp the Elite Encounter, then I was going to go and explore this thing, then I was going to jump out, then I was going to do a loop of shame! Yeah, fantastic.co.uk, fantastic, fantastic bookstore. dot com. Target law. Snark 3D or Snarked is following the channel. Thank you for the follow, mate. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. Oh god, it's going to be one of those days. Bye, Dan. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate the fact you got to go. I am sad. Sat more sad than you can imagine because I had many things planned to say. Fantastic bookstore, that's it. Yeah. <sighs> but yes, definitely speak soon because I have many things to say. Um. So yeah, my plan had been, as I said, to the elite encounters thing. Um, plan had been to pimp it at the at the, at the con um, and hopefully actually physically sell it at the con because it's this close. I mean, honestly, it's this close to being out. Um. So what my idiot self did was 30 ships in this game. I've done ship posters for each one with some stats on for the game itself. I've also made counters for the kind of vehicle combat system, miniatures game type thing that we've included as part of the book's content. Um, somehow, every single person missed it, including me and Frontier and all the proofreaders. I missed three ships from the counters. I missed the Clipper, the Hauler, in the orca. What the fuck? Acknowledged. Verity, would you mind? Yes. Mass, a measure of the total amount of material in a body, defined either Mass. by the inertial properties of the body what? or by its gravitational influence on other bodies. She knows about all of the 88 <sighs> constellations and much more. You gotta worry. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, eh. Eh. Orion. That's the one MKB95. Close galaxy map. Closing map. Um yeah, so I missed three ships. Um, how the hell did I manage that? I have no idea. What it turns out is I didn't even have any top-down views or top-down screenshots of the hauler that were decent enough to use as counter images. So I hadn't even done any screenshots of the hauler that were good enough to use. So I had to go into my other account, find somewhere nearby that sold haulers, fly there, buy one, take photos of it in space, and then cut, cut them out in PaintShop Pro, and then make counters out of them. And I found all this out at like 10 o'clock at night. So yeah, 1 o'clock in the morning. Over a weekend. Um, and then I came up with the, the hot clever idea of rather than having a separate file for the GM screen on its own and providing that as part of the download package, actually including it as part of the book as a bit of added content so that everybody could grab it without having to faff around. I'll probably also include it as a separate item. But the GM screen um, has kind of evolved. Uh, it was one of the things that I promised as part of the pledge packages. Jump. Engaging jump. Um, in the Kickstarter for this game was that some people would get a printed out version of a GM screen. And the evolution of it has turned it into a, a kind of combination player in GM screen that I've christened the Commander screen. It's not bad. It could be worse. Um, and I've actually included it in the book. 
I thought while I was getting permission to do it anyway, I'd be as well just including it as part of the book and seeing if it could go in. So that's now in the book for submission. So I've resubmitted what I now call Release Candidate 2. Um, and given the fact that I, I get the impression that Mr Braben hadn't read much of the book at this stage anyway, due to other commitments and so on, so I may not have lost that much in the way of time, but I have gained a lot more in the way of content. It's allowed me to put a few corrections in as well, fix a few mistakes, um, fix a few formatting problems and add a few bits and pieces that were meant to be in there and that I'd said would be in there and then had to fix and that or managed to miss. So it's probably a good thing. Uh, so it's more complete, it's more professional and it's certainly got the bits that were bloody well missing, which is just ridiculous. I mean, seriously. Oh. oh. Um, so yeah, that's now uh, that's in for submission again. But as I said, even before I did this, um, it was clear from what Janesta said to me that it was unlikely that uh, DB would have a chance to read through the entire 316 page book um, in two weeks. Which is fair enough. It's it's a hefty tome. There's a lot to read, and if he is finally, if, if he is given it a detailed read through before approval, then fair enough. I understand that, and it's not a problem. I'm gutted because I was really hoping to have something physical to actually say to people at a fantastic one. Put your money here, and here is your book, which would be a fabulous thing to be able to do. Um, and it'd be an honour for it to be the first time to be able to sell it at a fantastic one, given the amount of support that Dan has given me for this for this publication and to be I'm hoping uh, to be the first book that's going to come out with lore in it which is the main thing I think a lot of people kind of watching people at DJ Truth Sayer stream and all that kind of stuff are kind of looking for is the lore elements of the book um, quite happy to be the person to have one contributed to that documentation the writer's guides in the background lore and so on in some small way and also have it put into a book that people can buy and read. So that's going to be quite impressive. Um, yeah, there was a few. So, yeah, that's that. Um, sadly, no, UTPC, thank you for the follow. I hope my information was useful for you. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm hoping not too long now before things go and maybe there may be some things afoot in the next few weeks next couple of weeks before Fantasticon that will help things I'm hoping to keep some news coming from Frontier about how progress is going um, I'm hoping that things will get pushed through as quick as they possibly can and I would if anyone from Frontier watches or listens to this I really do hope that you can uh, I understand where I'm coming from that if you could push it forward as fast as you possibly can that would be great I'll buy you a beer wherever it is I'll bump, I'll bump into you so yeah but anyway yeah other, other elements of Fantasticon it's only two weeks away my wife said that to me earlier on I was absolutely bloody shitting myself jump jumping really looking forward to it I always love Fantasticon it's the most energetic and I think fun filled um Occasions. Elite Meet is fun because it's. I'm not going to say unprofessional because it's not unprofessional, it's very professionally done. But it's more informal. 333 plus 333 is 666. Good name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy what you see. Yeah, I thought I was going to make that into a song eventually. Um, so. Push my eyes at the side of my head while I look at the other screen. Do 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 do. So it's six and five. Open system map. System cartography. A6 and A5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Close system map. Exiting map. <laughs> I 
probably a good idea, yeah. Indeed, Jarrah, you do that. It seems to be quite lucrative. I mean, I've obviously, I've done... This is now my 70th system out of the 250-odd that's there. Um, and given that it's all the kind of the high-band exploration reward planets, I should have made a fair amount of money. Because this is a... I can't tell this, this is going to be a water world. And that's, what, three to 4,000, if I remember rightly? So, you know, even just doing a few of them, 50 of them, that's a, that's a good bit of money, so... What I might do is I might try and get to a hundred, um, and then head back to civilization, trade in the data. Open system map. System map. Uh, that one. Close system map. Closing map. One thing, I'll, yeah, I mean, um, it seems to be a very lucrative way of doing things a very close range to home, so you're not going too far out. And The advantage of it is that you know exactly what's going to be there, that you know you're going to make a set amount of money on each visit. So, I was, I've always been an explorer. Yes, GRL1027, my game is voice activated. Um, if you look at the adverts around the bottom of the screen, you'll see one of them roll by that says HDS voice packs. Um, that's what I use. HCS voice packs are an add-on for voice attack, which is a voice control utility for Windows. It may be for other systems as well, I can't remember. Um, but essentially what it, what, what it adds for you is voice control for your spacecraft, exactly as you've just said. Um, you can download various voice packs, um, a lot of them voiced by many stars of stage and screen, including Brian Blessed, William Shatner, Brent Spiner, Tom Bloody Baker, of all people, um, who else? Paul Darrow, who played Avon in Blake 7, uh, Verity Croft, um, who does the voice for the official ship, for the, who does the actual ship's voice in Elite Dangerous. She is authored on a voice pack which adds additional content. There's one called, the, the default one is Astra, which is a, a kind of voice a kind of fake voice generation utility in Windows, but they've used the voice from that to create a, a space-based one. It is it is thoroughly amazing, GR, GRL. Um, if you just do a search online for HCS voice packs, I think it's hcsvoicepacks.co.uk or something like that. Not entirely sure now I think about it. HCS voice. Just one second. If beats me to this, I will um, kill him. There we go. HDSvoicepacks.com. Q, of course, John Delancey. John Delancey's in there. You need to pay any sort of upkeep for your ship. You don't have to pay as such for upkeep. What you do have to pay for is maintenance now and again. I mean, if you look at my ship, if you look at the outside of my ship, you'll see there's some, some scores in my paintwork. That shows the general degradation of your ship's inner maintenance. Um, so you do have to do some maintenance occasionally. I mean, I've been floating around now for about four weeks, about, what, eight hours altogether? Without seeing a space station. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Just think of all those places, those wow. far away, unreachable corners of the galaxy. The uncharted areas of space. Close galaxy map. Exiting map. Yeah, and of course you have Kate Russell herself has done a voice pack and also a voice pack featuring Doris from her book. Mostly harmless. Available at all good online bookstores, including Fantastic Books Publishing, Amazon, and Frontiers Bookstore, I believe. Is it still on Frontiers Bookstore? I think it is. But anyway, available in many, many places. Fantastic Bookstore. Um, you also have... Sylvia... Oh, God. Sylvia somebody. 
He does jazz. Jump. Preparing for jump. And Ksai, is it? Uh, is it KSI? His name is. Even then, Roal, it's, it's not that much of an expense. It's a petty fraction of what your ship actually costs to get replaced. If you can afford to buy an ASP, for example, then you can afford to pay the payoffs. Um, as long as you're doing a bit of trading and a bit of exploration or something with it to make some money to keep it going. But yeah, that doesn't cost anything. Yeah, in-game costs, yes. I would stress that very strongly. This is not the same model as... Um, Star Citizen, for example, you pay for your well, you pay for your online content. Um, you don't pay f you don't pay to win in this game. You all the stuff that you earn is in game money, and you buy anything in game for in game money. You can buy cosmetic stuff on the the Frontier store, like ship kits or color schemes or decals or nameplates or all that kind of stuff. Um, but nothing that will actually give you an edge over another player, for example. Just stuff that makes you look cool. Yeah, so the more you pay for ships and modules, the more your rebuy cost is, but again, if you can afford to be shelling out money for that kind of stuff, you're probably going to be making enough money to re to rebuy it all, if you get all that stuff back to a place to, to actually sell it. So, for example, I'm doing quite a lot of exploration work and I'm getting some good results. So, at the moment, I have quite a lot of money in my coffers waiting to be cashed in, and I won't be able to do that until I get to a planet. Yeah, if you do something stupid, then you'll get killed. This is a very unforgiving game, I will say that. If you get killed, you're dead. That's it. You've got no chance. 2-3-1. Open system map. System cartography. 2-3-1-2. Two, two. Well, they actually all look like something I could use. Alright, let's do what it says. Two. Oops, missed. Close system map. Exiting map. You'll notice that my health, my ship's health, on that little spinny thing there says 91%. That 91% was me headbutting a star. Um, so yeah, that's that's it's it's kind of forgiven in that aspect, but still. If you do that too often, or you bounce off a planet or something and you try and land, then yeah, you're going to end up dying pretty quickly. And then basically what happens is all the data that you've accumulated is lost and gone, and you do not get the money for it. So yeah, that's not pleasant at all. Um, in a sense, Yara is, yeah, I mean, that probably is half the, half the reason, but I think I'll this is one of those games where you do what you need to do because you want to do it. Or you do what you want to do because you want to do it. You do what you need to do because you have to do it. So if you want to get a decent ship and you want to get progression fairly quickly, then yes, you'll do something like the Road to Riches to give you the money to do what you need to do. Then once you get to the point where you have what you want, like for example, I'm doing this to get a python. That's the only reason I'm doing this, I want a python. Um, I went exploring around the galaxy, I got a quarter of the way around, so I was doing a circumnavigation. So rather than going through the middle and doing all the thing, going through Saji and all the stuff that everyone normally does, I wanted to go round the edge, like round the middle, basically, like make a ring around the middle of the gal galactic ring. And I got a quarter of the way around, and then I got called back to do the Drew Wagar uh, premonition mission, which I completely screwed up. Um, and I traded that money in, and after six months, basically, of a night a week exploring, I made I only made a couple of million. I made up an absolute pittance. So didn't seem to be particularly great, but so what I'm wanting to do with this is I just want to I want a quick fix to get a python. Once I've got my python, I like exploring, so I'll go and explore again. I'll do something different. I don't know what I'll do. I'm probably going to head to Colonia because that's what everyone seems to be doing at the minute. I'll go to Colonia and I'll do that mission, not mission as such, but it's my personal mission. Because that's what I mean. This is your own game. You make your own game out of this. You don't faff around. Open system map. System cartography. Open system map. System map. Close system map. Closing map. I 
one second. Um, yeah, so I want to explore, so I'll go out and explore again because I quite enjoy it. So once I've got my python, I'll be happy, Larry, just bottle, just pulling around the galaxy. I want to try and a, I'm going to try and a, a um, there, 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 a spec it all the way. Hence why I'm going to try and get to 100 and see where it goes. And if I still haven't made enough money to a spec my python, then I will head back out and do the next 100. Open system map. System cartography. Close system map. Leaving map. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, Yaris, that the exploration rejig is going to actually make it a little bit more involved. Like, more of something to actually do, rather than the jump honk, jump honk, jump honk thing. Um, I'd love this to be a little bit more immersive, to use the word that everyone seems to be using a negative connotation these days. Oh, my immersion! No, fuck off. I like, I like to be immersed in a game. I like to feel like I'm part of something. Um, I like exploring. I like the whole method behind exploring. I just think it's a little bit simple. It's a little bit kid gloves. You know, you get to within 30 light years of a planet and you scan it and that's your exploration done. To ching 3,000 quid. It doesn't... I know it's good for the quick fix, those who want quick money, which is why I'm doing this. But, I would like it to be a little bit more of, a, of an experience. Like, the way I always saw it is the, the way that I've seen it portrayed in Star Trek before is if you're doing a mapping mission, you go into orbit around the planet, and then you scan it. And you scan it while in orbit, and you have to do, you'd have to do a complete orbit to get one scan, is the way it should work. And, should you do that in Super Cruise? I think for gameplay reasons you'd have to be in Super Cruise, because otherwise it would take too damn long. But then that would be that would maybe be the way you could do the um, the um, open system map. That's maybe system how you could map. do the the big money. If you want the big money, then what you do is you drop out of Super Cruise. Close system map. Leaving map. Jake Wood four nine five. Thank you for the follow. Um, because what that would mean is you would get a shitload of money because you'd be spending about an hour of actual real time scanning the planet to get a detailed, properly detailed sur surface scan. I mean, that was one thing they always said at the start of this development process was that the exploration stuff would start off as being something fairly simple and then would build on that. And in game, lore wise, because everyone knows I talk about lore. Lore-wise, you can just justify that by saying that essentially Universal Cartographics has been working on better ways and more involved ways of doing exploration. So since the advent of the new drives, they've made all this commercially avail they've made all the exploration technology commercially available, um, but have had to work on trying to get it to be more advanced. So while they're getting the data that's piling in is proving to be insufficient, so what they, they need more, so they need more detailed stuff. So they say, okay, fair enough, we've got all we need from that kind of stuff, let's go for the more... Oh god, Bifford. Uh Let's go for the more detailed and more intensive scans for these planets now. Where we can combine what we're getting already with more detail. Yeah, Yaris, I completely agree, that would be brilliant. Honk's going to get nerfed. I think a lot of people are going to take a look at whatever it is they do and say, Oh no, my money's... Where has all my money's gone? Um, I'm not playing this game to make a shitload of money quickly. I'm playing this game to get an immersive experience and enjoy myself. And feel like I'm actually doing something. If it starts to feel like a job, then it may be gone a little bit too far. But if it feels like I'm playing a game, having a bit of fun and achieving and accomplishing something, then so much the better. I know the gameplay reasons for it, but I think I would quite like it if you didn't have to go to a base to trade in your to trade in your your uh, exploration data. I mean, we can in game pick up comms from across the galaxy. Why the hell can't we transmit this data back to the base from where we are? That's one big thing I would say. Deep planet exploration. I would love to see actual proper planet exploration where you have to car you have to have a fighter or a SRV or both on board your ship. So you can do so much exploration on your ship, but if you find a point of interest on that planet, you have to deploy an SRV to go and explore it. You scan it with the SRV, then you go back to the ship and that's you done that bit. 
you can go to another bit and if you want to explore a canyon you have to go somewhere you have to go somewhere in a fighter something small that can get into those areas and fly through them with a scanner attached that would be to me the best thing open galaxy map stellar cartography I'm very warm. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Ooh, that's a bit of a hike. Boop. Boop. Close system map. No. Nope. Exiting map. Close system map. Closing map. Jump. Engaging jump drive. Is your screen locked onto your head movements? Uh, what do you mean by that? I have no idea. I'm wearing an ED tracker on my head. This lovely piece of kit. edtracker.co.uk Manufacture and distribute the ED tracker kit. Which is a little doobly you can strap top your head and it will track your movements. You can use it with open track, which is how I've got the side to side movement there. Um, and it's fairly cheap. You can buy the the new wireless version is 70 quid. Jump. Engaging jump. The kit that I use, as far as I remember, because ages since I set it up, is um, listed on my video on my Twitch page in the info section. I think it's all written in there: the computer, the joystick, the whatever else, other stuff. It's all listed in there. So. I am trying to um, accumulate donations slash subscriptions, so if you want to subscribe then your subscription money will be going to a wireless version of the ED tracker so that I can lose this cable that tethers me to the damn computer every time I play this game. I think it's probably a good thing I should probably have to look at my belly when I get up every time I go and do something. So for those of you who haven't done any, any exploration before, or those of you who are maybe watching this stream for the first time, learning the game, or learning about the game, or having a look to see what it's all about, essentially, exploration is one of the many things you can do in Elite Dangerous. You can fly, you can fight, so you can be a combat pilot and take out other ships in the galaxy. Jump. Jump. Engaging jump. Um, you can trade. To be honest, trade is the most common thing you'll do because initially you'll start off with a couple of thousand credits and you'll have to trade to buy something more impressive. You start off with a very basic Sidewinder class ship, which is a very small, pokey little thing. Um, but it gives you a start. Um, trade some goods, make some profit, kit it out, and then off you go. So that'll be your core part of the game initially, will be trade. Once you get a certain amount of money behind you and some equipment or a decent ship, or that kind of stuff, you can make the decision whether to go exploring. This my system. C49, is that right? C49, maybe. Open system map. System cartography. You can start killing right away, but because you're in a, in a, a very ill-equipped sidewinder, it's not the safest thing to start doing. As long as you manage to keep it to maybe the res points or the the system navigation beacons, you'll be okay. Um, don't jump into a high concentration combat zone with a sidewinder.
<laughs> yeah, do the training so you know what you're doing. That always makes sense no matter what you're doing. A4. That nice flank. Looks like one. Close system map. Leaving map. Um, you can then also, as I say, you can go off doing combat stuff. You can do exploration like this. You can explore the galaxy, see what's out there. You can do mining. You can grab yourself a mining laser and some drones and go and carve some asteroids to bits and make money from that. So it's money from rocks, basically. It's great. Um, or you can go piracy. You can be a pirate. Uh, go out there and target unsuspecting traders and grab all their cargo. Or you can do escort missions. I've done that already. Combat stuff. What was the other thing? Bounty hunting. That was it. You can go out there, buy yourself a, scanner, a person scanner, and um, go and try and grab uh, bounties from people who are nasty buggers. Try and track down the pirates. I would disagree, GRL. I think the maintenance level is right. The maintenance level is something you have to think about. But then if you're thinking about the, 30th, the 33rd or 34th century, you're looking at fairly advanced space travel that's been going on for a while so you would you would expect things to be quite reliable but having some kind of at least minimal upkeep is to be expected but I wouldn't I wouldn't want there to be more than there is because it's it then turns into issue management rather than gameplay Elite's always been quite good in the way that it kind of balances the, the gameplay aspect of it like the gameplay aspect Fuel rats, yep, they're useful. They're a good team of guys. See, the fuel rats are one of the best things about this game because they highlight so many different things. They highlight just what sort of people the community can be to form up a, a group of people that will quite gladly get out of bed and come and give you a hand. Literally, like the player, not just the character, but the player will get out of bed, fire up the computer, go online, help you out, take you some fuel, let me make sure you're okay, and then go back to bed again. That's amazing. It also highlights the fact that this is a game that has so many little hooks in it that can give you something to do. So, it's pretty good. Wave scanner, um, that's how to use the wave scanner on planets, isn't it? So you've got your, um, that's your materials and your crafting interface. Wow, that's the shortest planet, shortest system name ever right there. Open system, the <laughs> open galaxy map. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. And yes, a very good point there, um, are exactly need interdictors to grab those, either trade ships or pirates, depending on what career you want to do. I mean, the, the instructions for doing it all online. You take a look on the. Um, on the Elite Dangerous wiki and stuff like that to find out exactly how to do all these things. Yeah, there's loads of stuff. Iridium Wing. I've not heard about it. Closed galaxy map. Exiting map. Jump. Engaging jump drive. So this No Man's Sky, and to me this is very much a simulation, and No Man's Sky is a sci-fi explorer, like Star Trek. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. Um, no Man's Sky, although technically quite nice, um, isn't isn't a realism game. It's a gameplay game. Um, you've got the things that essentially Elite Dangerous is meant to kind of be having at some point. We're meant to be getting space legs. We're meant to be able to get able to walk around. We're meant to be able to wander around and do stuff. But it just hasn't happened yet, and it's not immediately on the horizon. Which is fair enough, you know, it's a complicated thing to actually do, and I understand it's technically quite challenging. Especially given the fact that they've built this game to be a space sim. You have a ship, you have space. Get in one and explore the other. Open system map. System map. Ooh, this looks quite interesting. That's four, five, six, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. Close system map. Exiting map. Sweet. 
Um, we're also supposed to be getting planetary landings at some point. We've got them on rocky planets, but we're supposed to be getting them on atmospheric planets at some point. That is a big challenge, because what you're looking at here, as opposed to No Man's Sky, which is essentially wilderness with creatures, with Elite, you've got quite a lot of populated planets, and we mean planets that are populated by millions and millions of people. You're also looking at the the, the, the planet Earth, or Achenar, or Alioth, which have been populated for hundreds of years, and have billions of people on them in established functional cities. Trying to get that to work in a in this environment is a challenge, and I know it's going to be a while before they can get that right. There are story elements that might work towards getting that going on a smaller scale and giving them time to get things back where they need to be. Um, but whether they're going to go down that road, I don't know. I think one of the things that's interesting about the advent of the Thargoids shortly is that there could be something pretty impressive coming along story-wise from that, and I really hope and I've said this, I don't know how many things, but I really hope that the Thargoids are going to kick our asses. Um, I would love to see... This is my pipe dream for this game. Story-wise, it would be a hell of a story to tell for humanity to get kicked out of its own bubble, kicked out of its own space, and for Colonia to be the only place where humanity actually has a foothold. Thargoids take over Earth, take over all the human-controlled space, kick us completely off the clock. Holy shit, I just know she use voice commands. <laughs> um, I don't... I, um, I don't really know if VR's worth the cost. Not for me, anyway. Um, I can say that because I have no way I'm ever going to afford it, put it that way. Unless, people, unless 50 million people subscribe to this channel right now, I am not getting VR, put it that way. Um, I'm having to scrape together and save up to get a bloody wireless version of this, and that's only 70 quid. 700 quid is a is a is a fantasy to be have to have a spare 700 quid um, with having family and other things to take care of it's just not happening what was that like let's skip past that Oh, I can see the pub from here. Far away places with strange sounding names. Anyway, sorry. And, um, oh. Oh. All. Anyway, I don't. Um, I was going to say there that I, I wouldn't have thought that VR would lend itself very well to streaming, but I forgot. Um, oops, crap, 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 crap. Got the face plant. Um, I forgot that Malik does it, and there is actually ways of doing it now. Because when I remember it, you are, you could only kind of stream it as the the separate eye feeds. Zesty Lobster. <laughs> I love that name. That's that's my new favourite name. Zesty Lobster. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I certainly am now I've seen that name um, open system map open system map system cartography mm, cheeky uh, that's what's going to be them isn't it going to be looking at them close system map closing map Oculus well, is down to 400 quid so that's, still, that's still 300 quid more than I can afford so, everyone, um, there is a donate button on the channel. There is also, uh, I also have a PayPal account, which I think is listed in the channel. Um, and I have a subscribe button. So if you like what you see and you want to pay money to support the channel and support me and help me buy one of these or an Oculus Rift if enough of you donate, then by all means, subscribe, follow, donate. Just, you know, throw money at me, whatever. Do you need to be in the bubble or doesn't that matter? Um, if you want to do anything that involves um, ranking up, then yes, you have to be in the bubble because it has to be a an aligned system. Um, nowhere outside the bubble has space stations, so nowhere you can actually dock at 
or planet bases, apart from Colonia. Shiny. Shiny sun. Look, whatever Quinn said I was doing to him, it's a lie. I wasn't even anywhere near him. I, I wasn't in the country. God damn you, Quince. That reminds me, I've got Quincy DVDs. Um, no, oh, I take it you're talking to each other. I'm just butting in a conversation and there's nothing to do with me. That's actually a first. That, I think that's actually a first. There's a conversation that's happening in chat and it doesn't revolve around me. Ego broken. But it's pretty cool, because it means there's enough people in chat to have a conversation, which is nice. That's a good level to be at. Cool, thank you. Uh, next, um, blah, blah, blah. open system map. System map. Uh, yeah. Boop. Boop. Thrusters full burst. Shut up. Close system map. Closing map. Oh, no, it's not there. It's behind me. It's behind you! VR, I think, experience is great, but the video quality is something desired, especially since ED coming down in 4K. If I had done my due diligence, I would have not bought VR and went with triple 4K monitors and track IR5. It's an interesting thing, isn't it? I mean, I'm not sure about the VR thing, because I... I quite like being able to see, um, and I quite like being able to see where I am in my house while I'm playing. So it means that if my hand comes off my joystick, um, where, then I know where it is to put my hand back on my joystick. Uh, that's everything. Does voice command in game also work on PS4? I don't think it does, Mr. Nielsen, unless. There's a voice attack application on the PS4, which I don't think there is. Um, I think voice command at the moment is restricted to PC. Um, is it on Mac as well? It's possibly on Mac. Because the th thing is, it's based on an application called Voice Attack. Um, and I'm not sure if Voice Attack is a cross platform application. I know it's a PC app, I don't know if it's a Mac application. And I'm fairly sure it's not available on the PS4 or the Xbox. Xbox, I'm not sure thinking about it because it's PC based, but I don't think so. I actually honestly think that voice attack is a PC only thing. Maybe someone else in chat can answer the question. It's a shame, actually, because it, it, I do enjoy the feature. Um, I like the fact that we've got so many different people we can play voices with. Um, Verity to the bridge. Verity to the bridge. Astro to the bridge. Uh, I think I've broken my cross connection. Oh, never mind. There you go, Eyes House. Thank you very much. I think there's more maybes there for the Xbox, given the fact that it runs on essentially what is Windows Core technology. Can I, can I scan that if I don't target it? No, because that's the whole bloody point of exploring stuff, isn't it? Um, am I finishing the system? Yes, I am. What's next? Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. So they're all done. Oh, we've got some traveling to do on this one. Boop. Uh -huh. eh. Boosting thrusters. Close galaxy map. Closing map. If they did Zip Freak, that would be amazing. I would love it if they could do that. I think it would be a, an, an amazing bit of recognition for both voice attack and for especially HGS voice packs to actually put that integration into it. The thing is, that Mr. Nelson, I, I, I do get it. It is weird that it's not supported, but it's one of those things that it's not particularly... That's the word I'm looking for. It's not particularly... It's not a mainstream thing, voice commands, voice control. Um, 
it actually surprises me that a lot more computer stuff that we've got at the moment isn't voice controlled, but it's because it can be quite a difficult thing to calibrate and get working properly. It's difficult to do anything in um, a noisy environment, for example. So, I mean, if, if I had music playing in the background, this would not pick up my voice at all. If I had another telly going on, or if I had the actual sound, the reason I'm wearing headphones is primarily because of the voice recognition thing. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have these on. But if I have the sound from the game or anything else, or music or anything on in the background, speaking of which, I've got music on, have I? Let's sort that out right away. Boop. Boost. Um, then it wouldn't pick anything up. Um, so, yeah. Jump. Jump. So, two here. So, I'm going to go for that one first, despite what it says. Yeah, it took some getting used to, I think. That's the thing, people will after an immediate hit, and it's a first impressions thing, isn't it? If it doesn't work perfectly first time, people tend to be a bit put off by it. Yeah, exactly. I've actually got to stop saying that. I picked up Boop from another YouTube user. And um, I need to stop it, because it does confuse poor old William Shatner. Open system map. System map. Sometimes when I go er, it picks it up as all. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Close system map. Leaving map. How far am I? Not that far. Um, the entire road to riches thing. Um, doesn't take you any further out than about 2,000 light years from the core. So I'm, I'm bubble-tastic. I'm not that far away from the bubble at all. It's one of the good things about it is it means you're not... You're, you're basically travelling a big circle around the bubble. Um, and it means that no matter what point you're at, you can still get back to trade your data in quite quickly. <phone rings> Mr Nelson, thank you for the follow. 12102990, thank you for the follow. Interesting. Is that a date of birth? Close. Could be. High metal content right now. I've got to flip off to the other place now, haven't I? Open system map. System cartography. I'm not doing it for the rank, is it? Freak. I'm doing it for the monies. I'm doing it for the Python. I want a Python. I will have me a Python. B14 fucks. I've got to count above 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Close system map. Exiting map. I'm hoping it's going to rank me up, because I'm hoping to make a bit of money out of it. But as I say, the main, the main thing, I, the main reason I'm doing it is because I went on an exploration mission for six months. Admittedly only playing one or two hours a week. Um, a lot less than that sometimes, because I went through a bit of some, some issues trying to get online, as well as some issues with my health and some issues with trying to get books written to stop me from playing games for a while over that period. But um, ultimately it meant I was uh, out for about six months. The bubble is what we all call the core systems, because what it is, it's like a... On the map, so if I just stop for a second... Jixonkins, thank you for the follow, open galaxy map. 
Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Death bastard. So you got to wear the the the. So you've got the core systems here. Now, if you go to the map that shows you the powers. then you can see you've got lots of bubbles all over the place. So that is inhabited space. And it looks kind of like a bubble. Um, and the way it was portrayed on the early kind of beta and alpha maps is that the area you could explore and the area you could travel in of the galaxy was surrounded by a kind of vague shadow, like a bubble, like that. that's just popped up. Um, and that would really show you was there. So there, that was quick, quick and dirty um, description of what the bubble is. Now where am I? I'm down there. Where did all this shite come from? Hey, I didn't ask for this crap. It's alright. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, I'm scared. It's all like spider webs and shit. I don't want to see that. I can I can turn that off. But but but. Jeebus. Close galaxy map. Leaving oh, map. that was weak fluff. That's the weakest one you've had. Ah, actually, actually, it's not bad. I'll let you off. It says not like you figure out scanning every planet. Yeah, that's an experience thing, Gandalf. It's one of those things I've been um, learning for a while. Like when you do a... I did the, the exploration thing and went around the circle. And it's hard to find things that are worth exploring. Um, once you've learned what the map icons look like and what they represent, then you can maybe get a fairly good idea of what's important and what's not. But you don't get a lot of reward for it. I mean, one of the things, main things I went out for was trying to find Earth likes, and I found very, very few, actually. It's a bit of a shame. A shame. One second. I'm very sad that I actually save every single follow email. Is it recommend to leave the bubble for the first time? There's no real recommendation. I mean, I, I would say when you've got a decent ship that can take you long distances and doesn't need a lot of maintenance, um, say a Diamondback Explorer would be a good one to start with. Keelback's okay. Uh, the Cobra's pretty good. It's Cobra Mark III, um, or the Asp, which I'm in now. Um, something you can get up to. Something you can get about 20 light years of jump space uh, of jump uh, distance on it, um, and it's got a decent fuel scoop on it. Um, if you're doing if you're doing exploration, that is, there's not a lot of other things you can actually do outside the bubble other than exploration. But yeah, as as Yaris says, you can do whatever you want. People have gone exploring in sidewinders. Um, would I recommend that? Yeah. If you're that kind of person, go for it. It's your game, play it your way. At 
even the human explored part of space is generally only profitable if you're going to do exploration and only really then if you've got an idea where it is you're going um, you can go to Colonia which is the the new the, the, the sort of tiny hub the baby hub yeah totally agree with that Yaris totally agree um, that's why I do it the reason I went exploring the very first time I did it was because power play dropped when the update that came in that contained the power play stuff came down I was quite pissed off because I felt that what they'd managed to do was turn it into a political game of cards which I found boring as fuck so the first time I went into a system and I found myself being attacked by the system police because of my alignment I just thought you know bollocks I'm off by and by the time I got back they'd patched it so it didn't happen exploration in a hauler wow nice idea yeah you can get a decent jump range on it but if something interdicts you especially given the fact that there are now not just humans out here in the depths of space then it might not be the best thing although it'd be quick enough you might be able to run but not from a Thargoid I wouldn't have thought I'm wanting to, as I say, my aim from this um, Road to Riches is I'm going to call it Road to Python. Because I want a Python. I want to go exploring in a Python. I actually want to do trading in a Python first. Um, but I'd love to do exploration in a Python as well. I want to take a Python to Colonia. Is my ting. <sighs> oh, dear, what time is it? Oh, dear, quarter past nine. Lovely. Once I get to the level of financial stability where I can um, essentially buy what I want to buy, um, then I'm going to have a few different ships. I mean, I've I sacrificed a few ships to buy to in theory try and get enough money together to buy a python when I got back from my exploration mission so I actually sold everything I had except this asp um, to see how much money I would get and I got to the point of thinking that I was going to be able to get enough money together to buy the art to buy the python but nothing else so I'd get the python and nothing else Yee, engineering see that's that's a tricky one it's because I've primarily been exploring. I've not really dabbled with the explore with the um, engineering stuff yet. I'm not sure whether when I get the Python whether it's worth doing some of this um, engineering stuff to get some of the mods. Um, it's another one of those things. It's it's a part of the in-game milieu that I've kind of not overly impressed at getting involved with. Primarily because it's something that I don't know. I think it's worth it because you can get extended jump range, but it's it's like a roll of the dice, isn't it? It's not. This is coming from a role player who loves rolling dice and has designed an entire game around rolling dice. But rolling the dice and your random number generator to get the engineer stuff is like it's like a lottery. You have to pay a shitload of money, do a shitload of stuff, get this guy engaged, and then hopefully get the increases because your dice roll comes up with the right number that last bit is what that last bit is what lets it down so yeah but further you got the space list stations looking at um to an extent yes but it's like a, a very fast drop off your bubble is explored space or populated space so what you're looking at would be you get to the edge of the bubble and you've got planets that have stations on them or systems that have stations in them and then you get outside explored space and you've got none I think the way it, I'm not entirely even sure if they thin out as you get towards the edge of the frontier because that's what the edge of the bubble is it's the frontier so does it fade out? a question for someone else I don't know did they get less? I do not know engineering doesn't cost you money just time Really? I thought you had to um, 
essentially it's, it's cause, well I suppose it is because you're, you're, you're going and collecting stuff aren't you is it you're collecting stuff like, that you can mine or that you have to get materials from SRV exploration jaunts and that kind of stuff All right, Garzini, hello. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, okay. See, that, that that statement means nothing to me. 35-ish, we'll get her in pretty good. It's a mere roll if you go for the grade 5. I don't know what grade 5 is. Yeah, there's no hard and fast line, Fluffy. I know that. It's, uh... What I'm trying to think is... You obviously know more than me, so that's fine. Right, so that's that system done. Next, Rav Moshegg. Mad Epic Sloth, I missed you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Please continue to do so as I waffle shit. And randomly comment on conversations that probably have nothing to do with me. I'm hoping they're aimed at me. If not, then I'm butting in again. I'm like that person at a party that you really don't want to be there. Aren't I? Sorry. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. To... Nope. Where is it? There it is. Oh, my mouse has gone off. There we go. Do, 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 copy. The map's a mess. What's all this shite? I'll just check Fluffy Bun just one second. Oh, I am dropping some frames, or I have been dropping some frames. I'm getting all green now. Refresh. Hit the F5 fluff. Oh, Mr. Nelson, you're going to love it. If you like this sort of thing, if you like this, if you like what you see, you're going to love playing it. Once you get the hang of all the controls and how everything works. What's, have you got a joystick? Close system map. Closing map. Or close system map, even. Close system map. Exiting map. Oh, oofed. Jump. Jumping. Bosh. Soon. <laughs> Twitch has been having a few problems this evening. Um, just before I started streaming at eight o'clock, um, the eminent DJ Truthsayer, his entire stream just crashed. Um, so it may be that there's some heavy traffic on Twitch. It may be that there's something going on with me. No, I'm still, I'm still fine. I'm still all green. Um, as I say, it's maybe worth checking on Twitch, make sure it's okay. Um, hitting F5 usually sorts it all out. Well, maybe what I'll do next then. Maybe what I'll do next in Zip Freak is um, after I've done my um, Road to Riches and got my Python. I might actually do a bit of uh, engineering feature. That'd be something to touch on in the stream, something I've not done before. Something a bit different for me as well as everybody else. You can all learn with me and see how shit I actually am at this crap. Open system map. System cartography. Open system map. System map. That's the wrong window. So A1, A3, B5. Closed system map. Leaving map. Well, maybe we could learn together, Zip Freak. It's one of the reasons why I do these streams, you see, is that people come on and give me an idea of what I can do next, or what's interesting to do, or what they'd like to see. And when someone in chat says something like that, it makes me think, yeah, that's something that's good to know, something that's good to learn, so let's do a bit of that. 
because I don't really know how engineering works. What better way to learn than with somebody who's online? Oh, Joe Shock, oh dear. I don't know. I've... I tried playing this with a Joe Shock controller plugged into the PC. Um, for the, as a PS2 one, but the stick travel just was too damn short. Just everything was really, really twitchy. Open system map. System cartography. Three was it? Yeah. Close system map. Exiting map. Really? Oh, different orders to which engineer to get to first the missions you have to do. Oh god, it sounds really complicated. You put me off the idea. Like, I like simplicity. I like easy stuff that my addled brain can get round and get the hang of quickly. Like I said, if it feels too much like work, then it puts me off. Oh no, is it freak? No! Don't go! You gave me an idea of things to do! That's fine. If you haven't followed me, follow me. Get the notifications and then you'll find out. Follow me on Twitch. Anyone who's wanting to know what I'm going to be up to and stuff like that, follow me on um, follow me on Twitter. HD Salazen. Um Because usually when I'm going to stream I'll post on Twitter. Um, or it'll post on Facebook. So I'll post on Twitter and then it automatically posts it on Facebook as well. Um, so on Twitter, I am HD Selzen. On Facebook, Selzen Lake, as you see in game. Not that you can see it on the screen. Right there. Is it there? Yes, there it is. Commander Selzen Lake. Um, whoops. Open system map. System map. At least one engineer requires that you need to rank with another. Oh, fuck's sake. It's all complicated. <laughs> Pardon me. Close system map. Thank you for the follows, it free. Stay in touch, my friend, and thank you for the follow and thank you for the comments. Your conversation has been marvellous. What does a hot ass cost? Hmm. Well, depends what hot ass you want. You can get the thrust master. Hot Ass X uh, for about 40 quid and for an entry level stick that's really really good. It has a stick, it has a throttle, it has loads of buttons, it has a little paddle thing that you can use for your left and right thrust. It's got enough stuff on there to keep you going. It's, it'll certainly keep you going. It'll certainly get you started anyway. Um, the one I use... Probably pull, just pull the plug out, haven't I? Um, is the Cytec X52. Um, which isn't bad. It's about a hundred quid, if not a little bit more. Right, let me see if that's frozen at the same time here. No. Still green. Green, 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 green. Um. All right. Tell me when you're okay again, Mr. Nielsen, if, if you remember, and I'll, I'll hold that conversation for a sec. The thing about using the um, open track as well as the ED tracker software is that doing this is a lot more sensitive than it used to be. Before, it never used to be very responsive. Now it is. It's really, really good. And you can customise it as well. It's great. Great stuff. You're going for a Python, right? Power of Engineers will increase your stock FSD from 16 light years to 24 to 25. Hmm. 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 Interesting. That might save me from having to do things like um, aerating the power plant. Aerating the FSD, sorry.
I just want to make some progress, ship wise, because I mean, I, I thought I'd have an anaconda by now. I mean, this game's been out now for about four years. Or at least in somewhere outside Alpha. In the three years of actually playing it, I've only got as far as an ASP. It's not good. Are you back, Mr. Nelson? Crotch shot. You gotta love it. <laughs> oh, I do like it. I mean, I have to admit, Gandalf. Um, I was never that keen on getting an ASP um, because I think because it was hyped. Everyone hyped it all the time. And I thought, I don't like it, I don't want one. I'm going to stick with my diamond back. And then I got one because I wanted to do some long this and stuff. And it's such a joy to fly. And it's amazing how you can actually just get this difference in feel for each ship that you fly in the game. Given that there's not a lot of tactile feedback from it, just based on the the aesthetics of what you can see in the cockpit, how well it responds to your controls, how well it turns, how well it flies. I mean, there's not even any kind of stick feedback or anything like that, but it just feels nice. The Diamondback is nice, but this is nicer. I think in terms of responsiveness, I'll probably go for the, the Diamondback, but for reliability and stability, and especially um, cooling when you're trying to refuel in a star, it's definitely this. Yeah, the sensors do cost a fair bit. The jump range on this isn't that great. It's about twenty, uh, about twenty-six, I think. Oh, they all look a bit odd. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. We're looking at stability wise on the stream, still fine. Ooh, six Percy. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go, jump range 24, 26. So 26 unladen, and I don't think I'm actually laden. Or is that my jump range now? I don't know. I might be partially laden. For his Fucking hell. Good lord. Right, I'm going to say something for a sec. Um, I have to go for a comfort break. I'll just be a couple of minutes. One drinks too much milkshake at my age. Try to drink kids' drinks while I'm a uh, 40 odd year old. Silly. It's like driving a container. <laughs> well, yes, okay, you, you you guys are starting to sell me on the idea of getting engineering. But the thing is, I mean, if you do an exploration, right, surely the thought is that if you do an exploration, you don't want to be jumping too far, because you're missing stuff. So doing about a 20 light year jump is a fair, a fair distance to go if you're just randomly exploring stuff and trying to find what's out there. So I think going long distances maybe isn't the best kind of idea for an exploration ship, but if you have specific distances or specific places in mind that you want to go and you want to get there quickly, then yeah, do it, because it works. <sighs> oh, see you then, Arixak. Take care of yourself. Thanks for popping in. Love to see you, as always. Awesome to see you. Um, one of the old early tiers there. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm going to get... I, I do kind of lurk on that forum now and again. I don't really participate much in it. But I did notice the other day the forum had gone down. And I got in touch with Giles on the Uli, the person that runs the Uli site. And said uh, there was something up with the forum. And he said there'd been a failed upgrade somewhere. So we fixed it. So I helped. I had, I had some interaction with Uli again. Which was nice. I kind of lurk on the forum now. I don't log in. I just have a look at what's being said. And I don't really think it. Because um, I have plans. Yeah. Mm, yeah, exactly, Gandalf. So, I mean, the places that you want to go, especially if you want to go out to the sides and out to the edges and so on, if you want to get to them, you have to have a decent jump range. So either you have a small ship with a really good drive, or a big ship with a really good drive, or you get engineering stuff done. 
so like you say, the Formidian Rift is one of these places where you have to have some kind of modification going on there. So, but yeah, I mean, it'd, it'd be nice if I'm going to start doing more specific things, then I'll do that with um, some engineered stuff, perhaps, once I've got the hang of doing it, working out how it works. I've got two pilots, so one of the things I'm going to try and do is... Uh, think, yeah, but Garzini, you're a jammy bastard when it comes to the exploration stuff. When I was doing the exploration stuff and you were doing it alongside, you were finding, like, three Earthlakes in one system. You were kicking ass on it, and I was finding one Earthlake in every 50 billion systems. I don't know how the hell you managed it. You just spawn. Spawn! That's actually probably a phrase nobody will get apart from Scottish people. Because it was one of the things that went around school when I was younger, was that if you were a spawny bastard, you were just jammy, basically. Spawny, I have no idea where it came from. Something to do with frog spawn, I have no clue. History of stuff that used to get said around school, was, I'm sure for everybody, is a bit of a weird thing. But anyway, I'm going to go for comfort break. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Please enjoy watching my pause screen, which is very old, and uh, listening to the lovely music of uh, either Synaptics or uh, Erasmus Talbot from the Elite soundtrack. I do have some Gemma Johnson here, but for some reason it's lost the... Um, it's lost the tracks, which is odd. But never mind. Anyway, I shall be back very shortly.
yeah, Spawny being lucky is pretty much the thing. That's how it was. Hi, I'm back. Oh, right, so where were we? What were we doing? What was I up to? What the hell was I playing at? What have we just finished? C59? So, back to the plot. What little there is of it. Six Percy, that was it. Okay, cool. Uh, close, uh, close galaxy map. Closing map. Oh, my tracking's gone shit. Hang on. Um, Gandalf, no I'm not. I'm not using the Pathfinder one, I'm using the one that was on Reddit. It's called Path to, uh, Road to Riches Improved version. Um, and I found it on Reddit yonks ago. I didn't know about the Pathfinder one until about two weeks after I started doing this. Otherwise I'd have used that because it's got an online tracker. And I would have had to use a stupid bloody text file. Jump. Jumping to light speed. It, this is what I mean. It actually kind of. It's pretty cool how it does pick up your voice. And it does pick up weird ways of saying stuff. Weird ways of saying stuff, lad. I've missed one. Oh, yeah. So, six person four. System cartography. Yes, that would be cool. The voice of God. Close system map. Closing map. Samuel L. Jackson. So, snakes on a space station? Would that be a asp? <laughs> no, that wasn't funny at all. I do apologise. Thank you for the follow, Florin. Florin, is that right? Florin, as in carpet. I mean, I think, on a serious note about voice about voice attack and the people for voice packs, it would be a massively brilliant um, thing to do to get them. Um, but again, it's, it's getting the agent on board with it, it's getting the right amount of money for it, it's being able to do it to, in an affordable way, and obviously getting the actor himself to do it. I mean, William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, not Leonard Nimoy, Brent Spiner, uh, people like that. I mean, they, they were more than willing to give their time for, for a fairly small amount of money, I believe, and get their uh, get the voice packs done. And were quite willing to come back and do re-records as well. Loop of shame! But obviously, the more prolific the actor... Um, then obviously the more they're going to cost. So people like Morgan Freeman, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, people like that who are kind of A-list on the telly as we speak. Even though Patrick Stewart just killed his career by playing a poo in the Emoji movie. 
but we don't mention that live, um, are going to be top dollar and perhaps slightly out of HCS's league? I don't know. At least until they manage to get the PS4, Xbox and Mac um, releases out for uh, HCS. Open system map. System map. Good. Boosting now. Good. Close system map. Close system map. Leaving map. Did um oh, no. Did Mr. Boss name? Ever come back? Mr. Did Mr. Nielsen ever come back? He was asking questions, I was trying to ask them, and then he broke. And he's not seemed to say anything since. Oh no. Of everything that's been said on this stream tonight, everything that's been said in chat, that is the statement that I most agree with Gandalf. We are capable of such brilliance, such scientific leaps of imagination that almost bring us to the almost bring us glimpses of the deeper universe. And then we have the emoji movie. That's my opinion on the situation, put it that way. Well, no fluff, because you'd miss out words. Anyway, why aren't people donating bits? I've got this whole thing that I managed to get um, affiliate status somehow by being awesome and lovely. And no one uses the bit thing, which is cool. No bit wars. I want to see bit wars going on. I want to see bit wars, and I want to see donations, and I want to see fights, I want to see things breaking out. I want to see competition. Bitless. Everyone donate Garzini some bits. I heard Gandalf that apparently it was shoved so quickly through production that there was very, very little in the way of actual script control. It was just the first draft came in and they just shoved it through because it was gonna be they wanted to they wanted to jump on the bandwagon before somebody else got the idea. And essentially it was so heavily derivative of things like Wreck It Ralph. They just didn't give a shit. They just wanted to pump it out there for the, for the lols and for the capitalising on the popularity of emojis and all that kind of stuff. It's just ugh, bad. I mean, I'd, I've not seen it. I've seen the synopsis. I've seen some bits and pieces. I saw a clip on the Graham Norton show, um, and I've seen a couple of clips in the popular media. But you know what? I would rather stab myself in the eye with a blunt spoon than watch that film. I would rather be sodomised by a gorilla than watch that film. And to be quite honest, I think Patrick Stewart must, as quickly as he possibly can, distance himself from that shite. Literally and figuratively. And try very, very hard to get another role before this kills his career. I mean, look at what happened to um, Jeremy Irons on the back of um, Dungeons and Dragons movie. I mean, he didn't work for years after that. I think either Patrick is desperate to get someone to just going to finish off his career, 
or he wants to retire and not get any more offers to work or whatever. Uh, I was unfortunate enough to st be watching Graham Norton and a movie review show when they were both being discussed or when the, when it was being discussed on both of them and the 30 seconds or so that I've seen you know even that made me want to throw up 30 seconds it's just woofed Fluffy Barn well done start that cascade go in come on I don't usually pimp out saying I want money from you all, but you know, it's what's the point in having a function? What's the point in having something on your channel that's there to be used and there to have a bit of interaction with the audience if it's not going to get used for something? I'm going to think something creative to do with it at some point. So a reason to donate, a reason to do stuff. Um, here, if you donate 500 bits, then you can, Ryan, you can get that. But you can call really don't that kind of thing, you know. Some tat that I've got lying around that you might like. Because good God, I could have been getting rid of some tap. I don't know um, how much of the office you can see, but I've had a bit of a... Not a clear out, but a redesign. Um, and it hasn't gone well. <laughs> Discovered that um, I don't have much in the way of storage space. And trying to bin two bin bags worth of shit wasn't enough. Bastards. I collect shite like you would not believe. So the emoji movie probably fit quite well in this room, to be honest. I mean, um, open gal, uh, the, 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 the open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. That went well. Are out to sector. Sounds like a disease of the feet. Oh. 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 Don't piss with me. Oh. Close system map. Closing map. Close system map. Exiting map. Jump. Jump. Preparing for jump. On a strange budget this month, gave my parents a lot of money to buy a new car and a tractor. Um, I think DJ Trussier has got it as well, for. Yuri got no Yuri got no fansky, that's a good name. It's also accurate. <laughs> cool stuff. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I do try. I just got the game awesome. I'm sure you will enjoy it. If you have purchased it, I assume you already know what it's like. I also don't have to sell it to you now. Woo! Open system map. System cartography. Of this. Belgarian! Yay! Go on then. I love noob questions. I will not mock. I must not mock the noob. Close system map. Closing map. Oh, well, that's piss easy. Um, That is a very noob, noob question, but a valid question because every question is valid. Never be embarrassed to ask a noob question because that's how you learn. There are no wrong questions, only shitty answers. Um, anyway. Um, what you do is you go into the game, hang on, I'll just show you. You have friends and private groups. You go to add friend and you search for your friend's name. So if you know what your friend's in-game name is, if not, then ask him. If you're not friends, if you don't know his in-game name, then you're not friends. So if you know what his in-game name is, you type his name in there. So for example, I'll go for... on the top of my head all right and then you have that and then what I'll come up with if you're not already friends it will say send friend request you do that job done ta-da easy as pie back to main menu resume my work here is done I hope you enjoy the game. And remember, you can have private groups. You can set up your own. I don't know what I'm putting over there. You can have your own private group as well. So if you automatically set up a private group with your own name when you create your player, 
um, and you can invite people to that group. So you can also invite your friends to your private group. So when you play in that private group and your friend also joins that private group, you can fly together without having to worry about other players. Or you can play in open and risk being shot down by arsenals. I don't like open. It's probably not a secret. I don't like open. Very good point. Very good point, Mr. Garzini. Good point, well made. Cogent. What a world. Nobody would dare, Gandalf. It's a circular reference. Does anybody search for Google in Google, do you think? Galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Close galaxy map. Leaving map. Jump. Engaging jump. No. no. Fluffy Bond Esquire, I have to, I have to agree with that. I'm perfectly in the same boat there. Perfectly? That's not the right word. Completely. I'm completely in the same boat there. I have no combat ability whatsoever. The only person I know who, as they've got more experience in the game, has become less good at shooting stuff. Snark 3D or Snarks, which I wonder which player group that is. Hotton. That's a point. I've actually done the Hutton run now. I always said I was never gonna do it, but I did it. Do I know am I now entitled to a Hutton mug? Or a Hutton patch? Or anything like that? Open system map. System map. One, two, and three. One. Close system map. Leaving map. Uh, I think I've got a hot dog somewhere. I'm dropping, I'm dropping more frames tonight than I've ever dropped in a while. Here we've got no fan scheme, you my arse. Am I being trolled? DJ Truth there, welcome back. I think you're about to go back online. Open system map. System cartography. Close system map. Exiting map. Yeah, I feel like it was that. <laughs> no, Fluffy, you trolley me, not true. Open system map. System map. Do -do 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 -do. Close system map. Closing map. Shump.
Why? Is the obvious question. Good reason. Everything is fine as long as it's for science. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Close system map. Leaving map. Oh. Close system map. Exiting map. Jump. Engaging jump. Good night, Bedford. You've been very quiet this evening, actually. You've been a busy man. If so, then fine. I'll let you so, yeah, thanks for watching, as always, mate. Hope your own streams go well. Take care of yourself. Let's have remote control of SRVs from space so we can light up wheels with and create trunk pieces. Engaging jump drive. System map. System map. C four. Close system. Closing map. If you do an exploration, then yes. Um, this is only one element of the game's play. If you're exploring, then you will jump to another system. You'll explore it with the honk thing, the this, the scanner, um, and then you'll fly to something that looks interesting. You'll scan it, and you'll get a certain amount of money for it. You don't have to do this. This is just one part of it. You can you can do combat stuff, so you can do pew pew. Um, you can do mining. You can do trading, which is you'll probably have to do no matter what else you do because it's the core part of the game. Or you can do bounty hunting, mercenary work, asteroid mining, um, stuff like that. Or just missions from bulletin boards on space stations. So no, very much not the majority of the game. This is the majority of my way of playing at the moment because I'm doing something simple to get money. Simple and safe. So this is probably the safe thing to do, is exploration, because it's uh, 
lucrative and tends to be in generally unpopulated parts of the galaxy. If you want companionship or people blowing the shit out of you, and by all means float around in the middle of the um, populated space, you'll be fine. So, again, it's the common thing said about this game is the game is what you make it. It's open ended, sandbox. There's a variety of different options you can do. There's a career in it. If it, I wouldn't say it's like a job, but you can do particular directions that you want to take your character's path. <laughs> no, no, Fluff, you don't. I'm with you on that one as well. Blowing up is a very common thing to do. Blowing up is hard to do. I'm going to be calling it a night very soon. Um, probably going to do... Yeah, see, that's it. Things like canyon racing, or demolition derbies, or... Um, player group missions, or community goals, or stuff like that. The engineers, the power play stuff. It's all different. You know, there's loads and loads and loads of different things you can do in this game. It's a huge scope, and the scope's only going to get bigger as the years go by with it. The player groups that have grown up around it have actually started doing quite a lot of stuff as well. So if you want to, you can do passenger missions, like flying passengers around the galaxy. Um, and you can do things like joining the fuel rats, or do the hut and run, or there's loads of stuff you can do. Loads of stuff. Very well supported by the community, very well supported by Frontier themselves, and very well supported by streamers like me, because we're all awesome and love sharing shit like this. So, uh, yeah. That's it for that system, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alien wars coming. Aliens are coming. Coming to clean our chronometers. Open system. <laughs> Open galaxy map. Open galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Doing the hut and run is a fairly advisable thing if if you want to have a stream or a game that involves sitting back and watching the stars go. I think for a stream, if you're having a stream that's a talky one, then it's a good thing to do because you can just sit back and your 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 mission will just carry on. Close system map. Leaving map. Bollocks. Close system map. Close system map. Exiting map. Jump. Jumping to light speed. Right, I'm going to do this system, and then I'm going to do the next one, which is an, an Earth-like world. Um, and if that system's got somewhere to land, I'm going to land there. Good to rest my voice for a second. Thank you. You're welcome.
system up. System cartography. Am I going to Frontier Expo, Fluffy Bun? Yes, indeed. I am going to Frontier Expo. I was going to say Fluffy Expo there. That's a whole different thing. Yes, Frontier Expo. That's another thing I meant to talk about tonight that I've completely forgotten about because I got carried away with all the other stuff going on in chat. Frontier Expo. Um, the first weekend in October. Is it the 7th and the 6th and 7th? Something like that. The first week in October, anyway. Um, is Frontier Developments, who created Elite Dangerous, are... Uh, hosting their first expo, which is their own feature showcase of their own stuff. So, Planet Coaster, the Railroad Tycoon, is it Railroad or Roller Coaster Tycoon games? Lost Winds, f this thing, this what you see there, whatever side it's on, um, and all the rest of the stuff, including the new franchise that they're going to be getting, um, or that they have got, and they're going to be announcing it from at Frontier Expo. So, loads and loads of stuff, like game-related stuff, Merchandise, probably all kinds of different stuff. I don't know who's going as far as fan groups are. The Hutton Orbital, possibly. I'm getting a phone call. Again. I'm going to say. Okay, this may be a serious one. Um, give me five minutes, um, and I'll be back on hopefully in about five minutes. Um, I will be back on it. Someone tell you what's happening anyway, but um, I'll see you shortly.
All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to have to sign off because we have a bit of a problem. As in a potential hospital visit. Um, right. It's planet nine. I haven't done that one yet. So I'm just going to mark where I've got to. Five, seven. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is what happens when you have a wife who's just been diagnosed with a cardiac problem and she has chest pains. You have to kind of go and make sure that everything's okay. So uh, I'm going to call it a night there, floating in space like I don't really like to do, um, but that's the way it goes this evening I'm afraid, so uh, it's been a great stream, um, thank you all for coming, it's been a very busy stream, I thank you everybody for your follows, thank you everybody for watching, I hope you've had a great time, um, hope you've had as much fun as I've had, it's been an awesome evening, um, take care of yourselves and all the best and I'll see you next week, fly safe!